J ハット塾。Please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the 2018 physics questionnaire of the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government or MEX scholarships for undergraduate students. The answer key and the original questions are linked in the description. Problem 3 of 1. A charged particle of mass M and charge Q is in a uniform electric field E. Initially, the particle is at rest and then accelerated by the electric field. Find the time for the particle to travel at a distance of D from the initial location. Let us review the following ideas for the solution. First is the idea of the uniform electric field. The uniform electric field is the vector quantity that expresses the ratio of the force experienced by a charge Q when that charge is put in that electric field. So if we have a charge Q and then we put it somewhere where there is an electric field E, then that charge would experience a force. And the magnitude of that force is given by the magnitude of the product of Q times the magnitude of the electric field. Then we also review uniform acceleration. So if you have motion that is uniformly accelerated, that means that the acceleration does not change in the duration of the motion, then we get this relationship. Here we have d as the distance that the body will travel during that motion. v of 0 is the initial speed of that body. Time is the duration of the acceleration. And here a is the is the acceleration, and a must be constant. So this only works if the acceleration is constant. So using this, we can get the distance that the, that the body travels during the constant acceleration. The problem is asking us for the time t here, the time for which the object is accelerating. So we put an object in an electric field. Now the electric field experiences a force, and because of that force, it also experiences acceleration in this uniform electric field. Because the electric field is uniform, then the acceleration is also uniform, and therefore this holds. And so we just replace the values here with the appropriate given. So first let's find the, so d is given to be d. V of zero is given to be zero because it is initially at rest, and we are looking for t. So now we just have to look for the acceleration. We know from Newton's laws that the mass of the object, which is given to be m, times the acceleration, which is what we're looking for, is equal to the force that that object experiences. So we write this, and we also know. This force from the given, because we know that it is the source of this force is the electric field, and we know that that force equals this, and so we can equate this with this because Q and E are given in the problem, so we can solve for A or the acceleration. So we just move the m down here, and we get this. Now we can plug in that value in here, and. Again, we have zero for v of zero because it starts at rest, and we have t. We have one half from here, and then a is this value here, and we got t squared there. And we just clean this a little bit. We get this. Then we get the square root to get that t that we're looking for. So this is our answer. If you learned something new today. Please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya.